Thank you. The first speaker is Brian Hayes. Thank you very much, uh, Chairperson. Welcome back to uh, Econ, Madam Noya, and uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, one question I'd like to ask, following up on the remarks that our Chairperson made on the success of the uh, Banco Popular first resolution that came through, as you're aware, and as he rightly pointed out, this, there was a private buyer here which uh, allowed this to occur with relative smooth and success, uh, a successful outcome. But as you're aware, the recent banking package uh, legislation has called for reconsideration of the existing supervisory toolbox uh, in light of a resolution or the imminent resolution. Um, and I think it would be interesting from our perspective to, to hear your remarks as to a potential review on the supervisory toolbox that could apply, one in relation to the stress tests that could follow, particularly in regard to precautionary uh, recapitalization. And secondly, then, um, what uh, supervisors would have to do in terms of their decision on a, on a precautionary recap, particularly in relation to the, time, the timeline uh, and how temporary uh, was the basis. And on the second issue I'd like to raise, you, you, you dealt in some d detail on the MPL issue. I've raised with you before the MPL issue in Ireland. We've seen some progress down by about 60 percent, still very high, about 14 percent. And there's a concern uh, in Ireland and I suspect elsewhere that not all MPLs are the same, that there are those MPLs that are treatable, resolvable, re potentially restructurable, and those uh, that are beyond a resolution. And I suppose the questions that arise from that is, does the SSM consider the different categories of MPLs when assessing loan books of the banks? And does uh, the SSM consider that those treatable MPL, NPLs should be given more time to allow for restructuring? And I suppose that's the fundamental question uh, that many people are asking uh, now in the retail banking sector in Ireland, given where we're coming from and, and the difficulties that we've had to face. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you very much uh, for your question. And that will uh, permit me the first part on uh, Banco Popular also to address certain points raised uh, by the, the, the Chairman. Uh, well, uh, the, 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 first of all, I should say that I am uh, tied by a confidentiality uh, regime on rules of the, the, the Spanish authorities and uh, uh, European uh, law uh, uh, as well. So I will just uh, try to respond uh, regarding the, the, the process on the, the, what we do in certain uh, circumstances. Uh, indeed, uh, as mentioned by the chairman, uh, it's important to, to not to be uh, in a systemic uh, crisis, and that's why Banking Union has been uh, built to uh, address problems in a timely fashion and uh, make sure that uh, the, they are addressed at uh, idiosyncratic uh, level uh, of institution uh, as much as possible. Uh, it's obviously much uh, more uh, easy to address a s situation like this one when there, there, there is a buyer, one or several buyers. It's even better to have some kind of uh, competition, but at the end of the day, we need, uh, we need one. The solution for, for this is that uh, the problem has to be addressed early enough. Uh, if it's uh, addressed late, uh, it might be uh, less uh, interesting for potential uh, buyers to, uh, uh, to, to take the, 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 the weak uh, banks or portfolios or parts of the, the, the weak banks. Uh, regarding uh, precautionary uh, recapitalization that uh, was mentioned, let me say that uh, this is uh, something that it is, uh, that is in the, the BRD on where uh, we are not uh, in the driving seat. Um, it uh, first of all requires the, the bank to ask the national authorities to consider putting uh, public money into the bank. If it is agreed by the national authorities, then uh, the, the, the Minister of Finance, the, 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 the ministers of the country will ask the uh, ask DG competition to uh, check whether the, the, the conditions for precautionary recapitalization uh, are met. Uh, and you, you know this condition. One important one is that uh, the public money uh, is not used to cover the past losses, but uh, to permit the banks to be uh, viable uh, in 
in the longer run uh, and avoid the financial uh, stability uh, issues. Uh, and uh, in such a procedure, the SSM uh, is only asked two things, whether the, the bank uh, is solvent, we have to declare the, the bank solvent. Uh, it's a point in time decision, the day we decide it. Of course, it's, uh, it has to be in a looking forward perspective too, but the looking forward perspective that uh, uh, you have on, at a certain uh, moment, and we have uh, to uh, uh, give the, 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 the capital shortfall uh, uh, under the adverse scenario, which is uh, triggering uh, this precautionary recapitalization. Uh, so this is what we, we are doing, uh, no more, no less, and obviously we work uh, closely uh, with other European authorities and uh, national authorities to make the operation a success, because uh, in my view this is a, a crucial point. Uh, if there is a precautionary recapitalization and if uh, public money is spent to uh, make a bank uh, viable, it has to be uh, a success. Uh, in the medium term, uh, then it's up to the Commission to uh, consider whether the other conditions are met. Uh, the question on non-performing exposures, uh, obviously not all uh, non-performing exposures are similar. By far, they are even almost all different, as a matter of fact. They can be, uh, we have seen in certain situations, uh, strategic defaulters uh, that could have paid but were not uh, paying, for example, during the Greek uh, crisis. Uh, we have uh, corporates, we have uh, SMEs, we have uh, individual uh, uh, people, uh, it can be uh, mortgages, it can be uh, consumer uh, finance, uh, and of course uh, different types of loans call for different types uh, of solution, and uh, we definitely uh, uh, address uh, uh, in particular, the, the, legacy, uh, the legacy portfolios that we are treating right now with uh, these case-by-case uh, case, uh, qualitative uh, elements. Uh, and we know that uh, it will take some time. We just want to see the banks moving in the right direction and moving as fast as they can, they can move. Uh, again, realistic. It has to be ambitious enough, but it has to be realistic uh, as well. Uh, and we are looking now at the capital plans uh, and more precisely the NPLs plans that the banks are presenting uh, uh, and sometimes they are convincing, sometimes they are not. If they are not, we ask the banks to redo the, the, the work.